I today finally look on tear down partial of this. So I got this on eBay for 40 euros and really it was a good deal because I have seen another one for sale at more than one thousand dollars. So this contraption is uh, old aircraft navigation equipment, uh, patents from the end of the Second World War. It is the sextant periscopic, made by Kosman Instrument Corporation, Elmhurst, New York. So what is this? You have this part, you have this box, you have some more controls here, you have an eyepiece, you have a dial here, and you have this, with extra stuff unidentified here. So this is called an Astro Compass. The ID is that it is mounted in the ceiling of an aircraft, this part poking out, and you will aim at a star. For a defined amount of time, you will measure the derivation angular of the star position in two axes actually. This uh, counter here is one axis, but there will be a scale at the mounted at the top with a compass dial. You will read out in the other uh, uh, lens system here and you will measure also how much you did derivate in this uh, direction. And somehow with this information you might be cap able to uh, know your uh, speed and direction, probably with the help of some tables or things like this. It is quite uh, obscure or it will work uh, exactly. So there is uh, one website online with extensive information about this device onto the prc68.com website. I will link in the video description. Definitely check the website for a number of extra photos and information. So you can see we have here the pattern from uh, 1959 from VE Carbonara Live Pasta Astro Compass. Okay, so you have uh, actually a quite uh, simple uh, optical path inside, just lenses. The top here, the mirror, the prism more exactly is actuated when you move the dial here at the bottom from 0 to 90 degrees to follow your uh, star and you will be able to read out on the dial here. The, ang the angle of the star. You have also here uh, some kind of uh, device called the Averager. It is some kind of a mechanical calculator because you are supposed to follow the star for a given amount of time and then do your readout. So if I press start, you can see it is still working. We have a clockwork mechanism in here and it will uh, actually account and you will be able to do whatever you need with those dials here. What else? Uh, oh, some information here. To wind the press and release wind lever, okay, turn selector to the desired amount to start so you can select between one or two minutes. Depress release to start lever, so it is purely mechanical. Here you have some kind of a shutter piece, a desiccant crystals, totally pink, so not good anymore. The wheel here is a color filters between uh, no filter, green, red, and uh, red or green with neutral density filters to uh, attenuate the light if you are tracking the sun and not a star, maybe. My guess. Uh, where little things here. So 
we have two main assemblies. We have a mirror apparently on the bubble system. So you need to align the bubble with the uh, target here. Actually, in here we have a cross air uh, pattern, and it is still working. This thing, if I apply power supply, it is just a matter of bulbs inside here. Uh, BNC connector for the power supply. Thank you very much. And if I apply something like 6 volts, you will see a light here, lighting through. It is just to uh, let you know it is uh, on, I believe. Some potentiometer here for the brightness. There is a bulb in here, but this one does not seem to be doing anything. Seems to be dead or uh, bad connection. I do not know how far we'll be able to take this thing apart because it is super mega tedious. And here in the yes, in the part here, you can can you see it now? We have uh, a cross, so you will align your uh, star with the middle of the cross and keep it aligned while moving the button here while you are traveling. My guess, it is my guess. Uh, and then you will compute somehow your speed and direction. So really, really weird stuff. So sadly, this one is not working. I do not see anything happening in here. Okay, weird thing. So I will disconnect this. So I am not sure how to take this apart. It is really annoying because it seems to be uh, really complicated. I don't want to ruin anything and uh, how far I do not know how far I can go. Given it seems here we have some uh, fluid I believe in this uh, part because there is a screw here on the side. Usually when you see this it means we have some liquid, some oil maybe. There is a, some kind of a mirror, so if only I had a way to know what there is inside this thing. Before I take it apart, like for instance, uh, reproduction of the original parts catalog. Why not? Here we are, Pendulous Mirror Periscopic Sextant. Cosman instrument, so it is not exactly the same model because it is the only uh, document you can find. Because you can see on this one, we do not have this uh, assembly here, which is the known as the bubble assembly. You will have a bubble floating around, and you will not want to keep it centered or something like this. Really, really well. So we have here the parts catalog. Manufacturers, things. So you can see this uh, mechanical counter uh, clockwork is uh, a very assembly, is a separate unit. You can replace or remove even. And here is what it looks like. So first the Everger assembly. A clockwork and uh, some kind of uh, computing uh, drum here. We will open it. This is uh, not too difficult to open. More of it. Then uh, more of, of it again. Then the main assembly. We have. Uh, Periscopic tube here. We have two covers apparently will come off easily. And at the bottom you have 35. It is the uh, mirror unit pendulous. Okay. This will be uh, worth checking. And uh, what else? The periscopic unit, just a tube with uh, lenses inside, one control rod here to control your angle of a prism at the top. 
and one moisture absorber at the back. It is all. I do not believe it will be necessary to take apart this unit because anyway there is a lot of things in the way. And here what you have inside the covers, the uh, filters, eyepiece, and your famous Pandolos uh, mirror, apparently made of a lot of different parts. Even the desiccant is uh, illustrated here, so quite interesting. And the case with all the extra parts as the uh, potentiometer, some uh, prism, a sort uh, installed in it. Okay, and even the transport case. And for some reason, there is a Ah, it is a battery case in a, a torchlight uh, box, it seems. Yes. It will be powered by two batteries. You can do it. And they did uh, mount it into a torch case. Okay. So really, really weird and interesting. Let's... Uh, investigate this thing. So first, uh, more demonstration of it for you, or it is not necessary. So this uh, dial here will move from uh, 0 to 99, 100 degrees even, and it will move here, the prism you have here, you can see, it will slowly move. To almost a vertical position, I believe, and transfer the picture downwards. Okay, we will start with small, easy stuff. This bubble assembly, I cannot really undo it because we have wires in the way. But here we have a very common bulb. going to something in here which is not possible to access sadly because I did try to undo it uh, previously there is a wire and uh, you cannot do anything one more extra bulb in here also but it is missing it is broken it must be why it does not work and one eyepiece here this will unscrew without revealing anything really useful. There is some kind of a flap here you can move in and out. Some kind of a shutter. Can I get a light for you? If you see it, it will move in and out to block the light. So you will be able to disable this uh, function here at least. Ok, uh, those are super miniature uh, imperial screws. Do not lose them. It is not even worth trying to find replacement ones. Ok, what can we do? I will undo this uh, Everger timer box. So, just four screws here. It will reveal uh, one or two links to the mechanism inside. The first time I did undo it, I had a lot of trouble to realign it properly for uh, in order to be able to reinstall it. I hope it will be a little bit easier this time. Anyways, this thing is not going to be used uh, anytime soon. Ok, we just have in here part number, some oil, uh, shaft here and a push pin here, you read out. It looks like this on this side. Uh, what can I do quickly before I start to do the complicated stuff? Here, a look at the 
potentiometer. We can expect some old school uh, US made potentiometer. My guess is uh, Allen Bradley. Let's try. Button is uh, plastic, quite weird. Uh, there is nothing really written on it, but you can see really old school, old wires. Well, no brand at least. One part number, but no brand. Metal case and wires going inside. This compartment is uh, watertight. It seems they did put some tar here over the wires to insulate them. And one seal also. Okay, not uh, big interest here, but I wanted to show you this part anyways. So this thing is really, can be tedious, and at the same time does not have a huge amount of stuff, except the mechanical average. Okay, let me secure it for good because I will not take it apart anytime soon again. Okay, so let's first check this unit. Uh, what we have in here. So six extra screws will reveal. It is annoying this thing because the button is in the way. Oh, yeah, I am not sure if I need to undo it or not. We will find out. Let's check this. Parts catalog. Try to figure out. Uh, it is this cover. Oh, it does not really tell. Well, I will try to undo the screws, and if it does not come, it means I need to undo the button. The model of screws here for sure. Six of them. We can expect uh, everything in brass in here. You will check the website in the video description for extra photos of this assembly. So it is a combination of a clock and a, well, a timer and a, some kind of mechanical averager mechanism, integrator, something like this. Old school uh, super weird mechanical computing that does actually make uh, mathematical functions. Quite awesome. Okay, so missing now. Okay, are we good? No, definitely no. So let me have. Some smaller screwdrivers and try to undo the set screws. Okay, with set screws, you never know what can happen. And now it is coming to reveal this in the cover, nothing except plate here for the button and some. Uh, bearing well guide all for the axis here and also your start button mechanism revealing uh, this stuff which i will probably not attempt to take apart any further because it might end badly Wow, so we have a shaft turning here, moving a big disc here at the bottom. It will turn this drum here somehow. Here you have your old school clockwork. You will 
trigger on the device. Oh, now it is working. Okay. Well, as you can see, like an old clock, all made of brass and aluminium. There are some springs here, not sure why. So this, okay, the disc here will move along, no, not sure, wow. Uh, it must be the time setting. Okay. Super, super complicated and weird. You see the little dial moving here with the two extra discs here. Completely obscure stuff. But like on the Battle Tanks parts I took apart, you can see there is a part number hidden, hidden everywhere. Almost here, 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 so you can find the replacement parts easily. You can order them easily, even more if you have a parts catalog. Okay, so I do not want to attempt unscrewing this. Uh, yeah, not sure how oh, it will end. All the screws are very hard to access here at the bottom, but you get the idea. It is a nice uh, unit, so we'll put this back together and we will try to open a little bit the main unit. Hmm. Try to test. Okay. So, uh, what next? I will undo this cover. Here there is the moisture the second module here, but I think it will come together with the cover. So it should be pretty straightforward. Is this screwdriver even fitting? <coughs> this is always a problem with all the slotted screws. Uh, back in the time, the slotted screws had sometimes thinner slots than now. The screws you can find in hardware stores, and uh, of course, they sell the screwdriver fitting their screws. And uh, it is very hard to find larger screwdrivers with a very, very thin tip. You need to modify them yourself most of the time. What do we have here? Will it even come? Yes. Okay, let me drop the screws. So we have the filter wheel assembly. Oh, apparently it is. Uh, how many filters? Yes, you have two ways in fact. Wow, complicated mechanism because you have two layers of filters. One. Uh, color and one neutral density so let me grab the light I had a few minutes ago where is it here so if I shine here you can see we have red green nothing or completely blocked maybe yes okay completely clear one neutral density, red, green, green with neutral density, red with neutral density, and even more. Okay, and here completely blocked, apparently. Okay, super complicated mechanism, and here we have some kind of uh, shutter assembly also for this purpose. Okay. Your cartridge of this account here. Nothing else special. So here we can see the insides. The wall uh, optical path actually to the eyepiece. To the floating uh, mirror here. The prism we did see previously in the drawing. 
and here the shaft that will go control the position of the prism at the top okay uh, looks like ah it must be the bulb here to the reticle piece the cross pattern okay okay interesting super tedious construction you can see a lot of little parts even if it is more or less full of air also so what do we have this side i am quite curious about what this is and what will happen here let's try to just undo the cover I will not disturb this uh, little counter here too much. I hope I will try at least. Okay, it is coming right off. So this is just a cover panel for something. The screws here, uh, yes, it is all the same size. Okay, so you are. Uh, Control here and your uh, mechanism here. Your little counter like this. Okay, I will not uh, take it apart any further because it must be super tedious. So it is driving with. Uh, okay, this uh, shaft here is turning this uh, worm gear and uh, turning at the same time your counter and turning at the same time the this part to drive your prism at the top okay nothing very uh, very well made by the way as you can guess but nothing unexpected just a school mechanism so this eyepiece spoiler i did already try previously to undo it it did not come but maybe it is because we have this uh, bulb thing attached to it. Anyways, it is just an eyepiece with uh, lenses. I will not disturb it. But I want to check now this uh, mirror assembly. And I know, I know it might be some trouble. So let's get prepared for it. First, I need to find uh, a matching Allen wrench that will go in here because I believe it is screwed in place and secured with three set screws. It is my guess, more or less. So I did pull out the super big box of Allen wrenches and trying to find. Matching one. Ah, first. Of course. If I use the Allen wrenches of the metric size, it will not work. Uh, excuse me. We start it again. This one is still not fitting. We hope it will be able to undo this thing. Ah, here we are good. Okay, so there goes nothing. Okay, it is not tight. It is good because my uh, wrench of this particular size is already very bad. It is uh, 0.05. Maybe I have other ones. Two. Then three. So you can obviously adjust this thing. Yes, you will be able to adjust exactly the, maybe for a focus thing. You will be able to adjust it precisely and lock it in place. Very long thread going to this so now you can see the mirror you can see it is uh, quite uh, dirty by the way and 
Well, uh, we will try to take it apart, see what happens. Because I believe we have, for some reason, some fluid inside here. So let me undo this screw here. And yes, oops. Okay, it was even under pressure. And it is definitely oil. Let me, excuse me, let me grab. So you're in, you try to pump the fluid a little bit. Okay, it will be probably reinstalled without the fluid. Uh, what else? I will first wipe it a little bit. It was under pressure because of the temperature. Not sure. So we have three screws at the bottom here. Will they collaborate with me? This one, yes. Wow. Super weird stuff. Mm. Well, this one is not uh, straight. Okay, we have this plate, this cross to secure it. Uh, spring, pressing against this uh, billows in a brass. And then we have six screws, so definitely it is a... Uh, hermetic construction. <coughs> I hope they will come off ok so I will, will need to mark the position but actually as it is not be, going to be used the screws are all the same, it is good, okay. What will we find in here? Well, we already know we have several parts. The assembly will be fun. So does it come off? Yes. So more of a fluid. A lot more even. Well, this uh, part I will be able to retrieve and reinstall in it. Smells like oil. Okay. Uh, what else? Looks like we have a ring here. No. Not sure. It is really a lot of it. Because it looks like some is actually in this part. What will happen here? I have no clue. <coughs> oh, it is just a, one more filling all this. So I will need to check now the 
parts uh, list to try to figure out how to take this further apart but as you can guess my fingers are covered with oil and I do not want to put oil on my parts list it is all a lot of fun ok I can see we have I need spanner wrench to try to unlock here this ring at the bottom give me one second look in here I did just receive from ebay a brand new uh, camera repair spanners that might allow me to undo this ring it will be quite sad to get to this level and not uh, see what we have at the next layer so let me try to do something here I need another towel to grab this thing I need to adjust my spanner ah. this one is not fitting because of the, f uh, the, the shape it will not go down to the where I need to go it is really annoying Make it enough again. I spare no expense and I purchased another set at the same time. Those are not uh, cheap, by the way. 20 euros each or something like this. But this one is in this shape. So will it? help huh. with some luck yes I need to put them in this configuration super tedious and I will need to do something with this oil I did lose a little bit but well anyways does it uh, work this time? Yes. Let me secure it uh, and try to mm. success. Maybe like so. Yes, you do not see anything at what I'm doing, but I am unscrewing a big ring here at the bottom. It should eventually come loose. Here we are. I guess we will have more oil. And now I can fish out this part. Then this part, which is actually your mirror, so yes, so the mirror is floating in oil to dampen the movement, maybe something like this. Okay, quite interesting. and unexpected so it is a matter of uh, doing dampening movement for this super tiny mirror here okay so now I need to have some fun reinstalling all of this back together which will be super easy and fun as you will see you can see
but uh, I guess it is what it is. Wow, this ring will be fun to reinstall, obviously. I will do it off camera. Okay, so you get the idea. Ah, another view at uh, this assembly. So completely old school, obscure uh, navigation device. Uh, very nice uh, mechanics at least and optics. But uh, also quite uh, nasty to work with when you deal with oil. So I will try to put this back together. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.